Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson 106 for the Xara Web Designer MX Premium Version 8 software. In this tutorial, we're going to continue talking about how to get the wow slider photo slider to show up on your Xara Web Designer website. And again, this tutorial is being created because of a YouTube viewer request. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is open up that wow slider file that we created in Xara Web Designer where you're able to see the photo slider when you preview it but what I want you to do is to actually publish that file to your website now if you haven't already and if you've watched lesson 36 and 37 you should be familiar with how to upload your website so the first thing that you would have to do is go to file and then go to the publish the website option so when you see the publish website option go ahead and left click on that and then hit publish and publish your website obviously you would enter in your password details and your username that kind of thing and make sure that it uploads to your website so once you publish that let's go ahead and go to the website that you uploaded it to in my case I uploaded it to splashtemplates.com which is another domain that I own so I would go to splash templates.com and when I go to splash templates.com you'll notice that it only has the text and the content that we wrote in the photo slider and that's because we only published the Xara web designer file to the server we didn't actually put the files that we created with wild slider except for the code that we created we pasted the code placeholders in Xara web designer but we did not place the other files that we needed on our server and I'll get to that in a moment but before I can get into that you need an additional program to get those files on your server and that program is called FileZilla. So I'm going to click on this tab here and take you directly to that website. So the website that you're going to want to go to is FileZilla-project.org. And when you go to that website, you're going to click on a link that says Download FileZilla Client. And that's the first option here. And if you left click on that, it's going to take you to the next page. And you got a few different options here that you could pick from. Obviously, make sure it's the one that fits your operating system. And in this case, you have Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, and so on and so on. In this case, I was able to run this on Windows 8. So if you have Windows 8, it should still run properly. And you would just click the link, download it, unzip the file, and install it. Or alternatively, you could download it from this other source, which is SourceForge. And you just double left click on that. Well, not double left click, just single click. And it would take you to this site. And you could download the file and then install it after you download it. So whatever method you decide to choose, once you download the file, make sure to install it on your computer. And then once you have that file downloaded, you will open up the FileZilla program, which I'm going to do in one moment here. So let me go ahead and find FileZilla on my computer and open the program up. And I'm actually going to close that download window out because I don't want to actually download that file. And you can see that it came up on screen here. And if you download the one with, that had the green button, it'll have an EXE extension, so you can just install it. So that might be easier for you. But I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I don't want to install it. But once you download and install the files of the program, this is what it'll look like. And you're going to enter in your host name. And the host name is similar to the host name that you entered in in the upload video for Xar Web Designer in lesson 36 and 37. And so you're going to enter in your host name. In this case, I'm going to enter ftpxrtemplate.com. And then for the username, I'm going to enter splash templates at xrtemplate.com. And then I'm going to enter in my password information. And after you enter that all in, you're going to hit quick connect to connect to the server. And as you can see, it shows the files that I published to that folder. In this case, the index.htm is really the only main file that we had for that file that we created for the wow slider in XR web designer so once you have published those files you should see them on your server and the next thing that you want to do is find the files for wow slider and in this case I stored them in my pictures folder and so I'm gonna grab the files for wow slider and the wow slider files will read data 1 and engine 1 and those are the two files that you're going to need to place on your server in order for the wild slider to display correctly so I'm gonna go ahead and pin this window to the left side of my screen and I'm gonna select data 1 
drag it into if the FileZilla program and I'm gonna dot drag in the engine one. In this case it looks like I'm gonna have to move this window to the right hand side because it wouldn't let me drag it in properly or it is actually it's just taking a moment thought it wasn't working at first but once you drag those two files into your your server you go back to the website and refresh it your photo slider should show up correctly and as you can see the photo slider is there so I'll show you this just one more time just to make sure you guys are following me when you install the files of a program you're going to enter in all your login information in this case your host name your username and password and if you don't know this you can contact your web hosting provider and they should be able to provide you with that information but once you log into that system you would just drag it into this window over here that says file name and when you drag the files into that folder the data one and the engine one your photo slider should work correctly so that's pretty much everything that you need to know for this tutorial if you have any questions please let me know um, don't forget to embed comment subscribe give us thumbs up and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials have a great day